D.W. Brankowski, Not Dark Yet by Bob Dylan. Shadows are falling And I've been here all day Too hard to sleep And time is running away Feel like my soul Has turned into steel I still got the scars If the sun didn't heal not even room enough to be anywhere Not dark yet, but it's hidden there Where my sense in humanity is going down the drain Behind every beautiful thing There's been some kind of pain She wrote me a letter And she wrote it so kind She put down in writing What was in her mind I just don't see why I should even care not dark yet, but it's getting there. Well, I've been to London, and I've been gay, Perry. Followed the river, and I got to the sea. I've been down on the bottom of a whirlpool of lies I ain't looking for nothing in anyone's eyes Sometimes my burden is more than I can bear It's not dark yet, it's getting near I was born here and I'll die here against my will. No, it looks like I'm moving, but I'm standing still. The nerve in my body is so naked and numb. I don't even remember what it was, what I came here to get away from. Don't even hear a murmur of a prayer It's not dark yet, but it's getting
right, I'd like to play an up-tempo number, English Blood by yours truly, D.W. Brykowski. Fee-fi-fo-fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman. Take some nerves, got some balls, set a foot inside his wall. I told him twice Take a step back I'll pay the price It's not that I'm mean Or wicked or cruel I'm a big believer In a golden rule Fee, fi, fo, fun You see the wife spin around, sports a checkered past. This bloke claims he knows her, had one hell of a blast. Night after night, they lived it up right. Would have got married if it weren't for some fight. Covered some ground, if you know what I mean. Considered himself lucky like meeting the queen. Couldn't help wondering where she ended up So he crossed the Atlantic to try out his luck Fee, fi, fo, fun Mr. Brit shows up at my door rather unannounced Claims she knew all along, had it planned in advance Thought I'd be away at some RV trade show London a bus at the good times roll You can imagine This poor Limey's face Caught in the act Without reaching first base But I just smiled And welcomed him in Beers in the fridge Unless you want gin Feet five four fun Top of the stairs, my wife stood in shock. Her British boyfriend had not changed his clock. He might have been early, could have been late. This mix up in time had just sealed their fate. She tried to recant what was so obviously true. Two tickets to paradise without you know who. But I reached in my pocket and pulled out a gun Honey, if you got trouble with English, just to loosen your tongue Fee, fi, fo, fun The moral is, don't be barking up my sweet gum You'll find I'm meaner than a till of the hun Eye for an eye, truth for a tooth What you do unto me I do unto you Won't pull any punches Won't let my guard down I'm playing for keeps I ain't messing around When I settle the score I'm playing for keeps For what you sow So shall you reap Fee, fi, fo, fun Drive on the wrong side of the road over there. Bloody idea, if you ask me. Feet five, four, four, I smell the blood of an Englishman. English blood. D.W. Bryakowski reading Joe, side one and two, Ghost Brothers of Darkland County. I think the time is now.
I, I've waited long enough. I had two brothers when I was a kid, and that much you know, Andy and Jack. Now, they would have been your uncles had they lived. Died with some kind of accident, didn't they, Dad? Well, it was a little more complicated than that. See, it happened in 1967, 40 years gone. And it was 21, and Jack was 18, and I was eight. Now, Daddy called me Mama's little afterthought. They loved me. They never come out and said so. They didn't have to. And until high school, they loved each other. Got along just fine. Damn. Around the time Jack got into high school, the fighting started. Squabbles over anything and everything. Sometimes I'd try to make peace, but no one ever listened to me. I was just skunk, the run of the family. It was like I was invisible. My daddy, he had an old Pontiac. It was what my brothers learned to drive on. Now, Andy got his license first crack. And Jack, he had to go three times. Daddy said Officer Comedy finally gave Jack his ticket just because he got tired of looking at his face. The last three years of their lives was one long stretch of ugly. And it got straight A's without trying. Jack he had to bust his hump just to make B's. Huh. Even the dog liked Andy better. I liked him. No, no, I loved them both the same. What good was that? By the summer of 67, my brothers were at war and I was just a ghost between them. It was that the summer of love. Two things happened. Minute Man was first. Rifle Club disbanded in 1968. Now, the official reason was the lack of funds, but everyone knew it was really about the McCandless brothers and what happened after the Hawkeye shooting competition, 1967. Both Andy and Jack signed up for the Minutemen, of course. There never was a young man who didn't like to shoot a rifle. But for once, Jack, was the star. And it didn't matter that he was younger because he had a hand made for the trigger and an eye made for a target. And he was good. He was good at everything. But Jack was great from the first time he shot. The boy was pure. Jack took first every match now, sometimes Andy came in third. He actually preferred that to coming in second to his baby brother, which was the best he could do. Then, then came Jenna. She'd been living two blocks over their whole lives. Just a gawky leg tomboy in jeans and pigtails and a big old birdie feeds cap that came down around her ears. 